point, about 500 points. We closed going into uh, the end of the evening uh, around, well, we closed down about 300 points. Now today we're up over 327 points. So what's going on? Yesterday we started out with the, it with Italy. Everybody's all upset about Italy. Because Italy decided they may turn around and they want new elections. And if they did new elections, call for new elections, they were worried there'd be a mandate that they would get rid of the EU. They would leave the EU. And that would disrupt all of Europe. Which both of it's nonsense. Italy's not going to get out of the EU. It's crazy. This, this, all of this is just all created through, through the, again, just like the Federal Reserve here, the Federal Reserve over there. All, all these stories, they just create these stories trying to get something going. See, the one way, think about these treasuries and what happened yesterday. The treasuries in Italy soared to 2.60. Think of it as our 10-year treasury over there, our two-year treasury. So their two-year treasury over there soared to 2.6. And everybody got all wigged out. Because that's bad. Higher interest rates kill an economy. Now, higher interest rates don't kill an economy as long as your economy is growing. But when your economy is not growing, like our economy is not growing, hardly at all. And you start raising those rates, those treasury yield starts going up, that kills you. Puts you right into a stock market crash. See, one way that banks generate income, and that's why it's so important if you're an investor to follow banks. You don't have to follow all these stocks. Just follow bank stocks, you could make a living. Just banks, they're so important. The one way banks generate income is by lending. And since home mortgages are tied to the 10-year treasury yield, it's easy to follow. Any rise in yields leads to increased earnings for banks. So you buy bank stocks. Yields go up, buy bank stocks, because they make more money. Now, last week was a good week for banks as investors shifted out of bonds into stocks as a result of investors selling bonds. The yield on the 10-year Treasury went up to 3.10 here in the U.S. Now, that benefits the banks. Bank stocks go up, so you buy banks. Now, yesterday morning, however, as a result of the Italian news, U.S. investors who just last week sold their bonds as they shifted out of the bonds to buy stocks, causing yields to soar. They wanted to buy, they wanted to buy stocks. They wanted to buy bank stocks. They all jumped into the stock market. However, yesterday morning, investors once again got spooked, and they started to look for cover, look for safety. All this bad news from Italy. They got spooked. And they shifted out of the stock market back into the bond market. Last week, they're shifting out. I mean, they, every day, they're just shifting back and forth. But yesterday, they were looking for cover. So they said, get me out of the stock market. I want to get in the bond market. And they started to buy bonds, and the treasury dropped. The yield dropped from 3.10 down to 2.4. That's bad for banks. That means they make less money. So see how easy it is? You can buy bank stocks by simply watching the treasury. It's not hard. It's like oil. When oil goes down, airline stocks go up. So easy. Real easy. This is what I do for my gang. So yesterday, the 10-year treasury yield dropped from 3.1 to 2.4. So investors decided, let's dump bank stocks, when last week they were buying bank stocks because the Treasury yields are 3.1. So now they dumped them in anticipation of lower earnings for the banks. This morning comes. So now the yields in Europe ease off. They start easing off. They start backing up again. So our U.S. 10-year Treasury 
goes, yes, now this morning went from 2.46 back up to 2.86, causing investors to go back into bank stocks again. So inside of one week, they're out of banks, they're in banks, they're out of banks, they're in banks, all watching the 10-year Treasury yield. Insane, isn't it? So bank stocks are leading the market back up, and here we're up again 314 points because banks are leading the market. Banks are on their way back up. This is not hard stuff. So yesterday I told everybody when the market started to go down in the morning, we woke, woke up and we saw the market down 300 points. I said, no, don't chase these stocks. What's that mean? Don't run in and try to short the bank stocks. Don't get in and get into a position. Short them. Try to make money as they're falling. I told my gang, don't do that. Relax. Hang back. They'll come back this morning, which they did. Anytime you have an announcement in the market that causes a, 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 a reaction of 300, 400, 500 points, just step aside. Now, for my gang members, we were, we were already in a position shorting bank stocks. When the banks drop, we were making money because we were already in. If you're already in the bank stocks, it's like a bonus. But don't try to jump in because if you jump in, you'll get in late. And then this morning when they went back up, you lost money. But not if you were with me because I already had my gang members in the bank stocks early on, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So that's a big lesson. Never, never chase stocks. Always pay attention to the bonds because yields tell you the truth. It never lies. Yields, bonds always tell you the truth, what the market's going to do. Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? It's always correct. It's just like when you take the 10-year Treasury yield, you take the two-year Treasury yield, and they start getting closer, never has it been wrong. If you have a 2% 10-year Treasury yield and you have a 1% two-year yield, and the two-year yield starts climbing up to where it's close to the 10-year yield, that means you're going to have a recession. The last seven recessions, that's exactly what happened. You had the 10-year Treasury yield, let's say 2%. You had the two-year at 1%, and that two-year Treasury yield went up and met the 2%. And guess what? We had a recession, and that's what's happening again. Oil. Watch oil. Now, oil has been on a rise since 2016 due to Russia and OPEC forming an alliance to pull back on production, cap production. They did that in 2016 before Trump was even president. Oil has increased from 2016 to where we are today, 121%. Had nothing to do with Trump. Last week, Schumer, when we were breaking for Memorial Day weekend, came out with a whopper of a lie. He said increase in prices over Memorial Day weekend for gas was all Trump's fault because he pulled out of Iran. Total lie. OPEC and Russia had this deal going back in 2016. And there's a lot of money to be made in watching the yield when it comes to oil. It's not hard. Just don't chase these crazy moves. We'll be right back after this break. For more break. information on this show, go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. We have a 16% return since the first of the year on my video stock group. Those are stocks that I select. I put out a video three times a day. You just follow my instructions on those particular stocks. This is for people who just don't have time to learn. Join my gang, philsgang.com, and use the video stock group. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call. That's 877-600-4264. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor, into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264.
Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Com or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Philsgang.com. What are people saying? Back about 2005, I found myself out of work. One of the things I was doing was KCA was playing Phil's Gang at noon, and he was predicting in 2005 a collapse of the, the housing market. Phil's Gang feller, he was on it, and nobody else was predicting what he predicted, but he was he was on the money. He was talking in 2005. He was talking about how people had the teaser rates with their mortgages and that the whole thing was going to collapse, and he knew what time it was. you got to respect that. Philsgang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. Philsgang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Phil's Gang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, or go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, 877-600-4264. Did you know Phil Grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class? Never miss a beat with the market and your investments. Learn, invest, and profit with philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Phil'sGang.com. What are people saying? After three months on 2018, I'm, I'm up over about 15% for the year. I love the webinars. I love all of the training videos. Phil has definitely kept me informed on a day-to-day -day basis on the ups and downs in the market. I really appreciated how he explained why it was very risky to start buying stock. Thank you for giving my confidence back in trading. I would highly recommend joining Phil's Gang. Very inexpensive compared to what you are getting or receiving for the money? Yes, I would recommend Phil's Gang to anyone who is interested in buying stocks. Join the gang, follow Phil, manage your own money. You'll be glad you did. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. Our economy is strong. It's an extremely healthy economy. Everything is getting better. I think the economy and the markets are, fortunately, are now trading on the fundamentals of the economy. Fundamentals, though, overall, strong. And stocks will be up. The economy is really ripping. Really ripping the economy. Yet today, today we get information from the government that they had to revise down our growth. Now, remember... The last quarter, 2017, we were about, I think we were about 4.1%, something like that. But then we went into the first quarter of 2018, we dropped. 
we dropped. Our economy didn't grow as much as it did the last quarter, 2017. Then today, oops, they made a mistake. They revised it downward again. From 2.3 down to, I think it was 2.1. The economy's not growing. But yet you have these people tell you every day on TV, on these shows, that the economy's ripping, the economy's growing, the economy's doing fantastic. People are spending more money than they're making, and that's a good thing, they tell us. Every day. You take, take two days, the last two days. The market yesterday was down 500 points. By the time the market closed, we're down 300. Today, the market's back up 300. Why? Because the treasuries. One minute they're up, one minute they're down. All over the place. And yet these guys on TV give you advice how to handle that. What are you, nuts? You can't look at a stock market. One day doesn't make a trend. you got to look at a stock market over a year's time. And what you need is some guidance as to the trend. And stick with the trend. If you're in and out and all over this place, listening to these people, these so-called experts, you'll never make money, especially if you're in a 401k. It's impossible. Oil's the killer. Two things kill the market. High interest rates and oil. Gasoline. That kills the market. As long as you follow the banks, the yields, which are tied to the banks, and oil, you can make money in this market. And that's what I do for my gang. They don't have to do a thing. The ones who are passive, these are people who join my gang for $39.95 and they follow my video and I put a video out on a stock, one or two, sometimes three, three stocks that my gang is invested in. And I revise that video three times during the day, giving them instructions what to do. Either do nothing, either Add to their position, I tell them, or take money off, or just sit in the weeds. They haven't got to think. They haven't got to know what the 10-year Treasury yield's doing. They don't have to just, is it going up? Is it going down? What is oil doing? What's the Federal Reserve doing? Are they going to raise rates? They're all over the place. One minute they're telling us they're going to raise rates. Then we get Powell talking, saying, no, I don't think they're going to raise rates two more times. Of course they're not going to raise rates. How can they? The economy's not growing. You raise rates, you are going to kill the consumer. You're going to kill the banks. You know, it's interesting when the 10-year Treasury yield was going up. That's supposed to be good news for the banks, but the banks started to come down. Well, wait a minute. Don't the banks supposed to make more money when the 10-year Treasury yield, which is tied to how they price the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, isn't that good when yields go up for the bank? Don't they make more money? Of course they do. But not when wages aren't going up. Look what happened to Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo reported and just fell off a cliff. Well, wait a minute. Rates were going up. I thought that's supposed to be a good thing. Bank's supposed to make more money. I thought that's supposed to be a good thing. You haven't got to worry about any of that stuff. I do that for you. You just want to know the bottom line, don't you? Do I buy this stock today? Like, for example, since January, our returns have been up on 13 stocks. We bought 13 stocks from the beginning of January to the other day. Our returns are 16% over those 13 stocks. On five stocks, in April, we were up about 6%. And I'm sorry, we were up about 15%. That was in April. And then in, um, in May, and I think it was other five or six stocks were up about another 14, 15%. Those are truthful numbers. You can go look. Go to my site, philsgang.com. It's free. Go check it out. It shows you what our returns are. So you haven't got to know any of this stuff. This is what I do for you. You can sit here all day and listen to this nonsense about what the economy is doing, what you're supposed to be doing, and it's all lies. Listen to this. It's so a long term, we can grow at three then. I think it's possible, yeah. I think it's possible we're going to hit 4% sometime this year. That's Jamie Dimon, lying. Jamie Dimon, know who he is? He's destroyed more countries, he's destroyed more communities, more counties. Matter of fact, it was his bank in Goldman Sachs 
to start the whole crash starting in Iceland. Do you know the whole crash in 2008 started in Iceland? When it was Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan went in and they, they managed their government in Iceland for them and they screwed them. And their government went upside down. That's what started everything. Going to listen to these people? Are you going to listen to them? 5%? Cut low? We could grow this economy at 4 or 5%. How the hell do you grow an economy at 4 or 5%? How do you do that? When your debt, your GDP, everything we make in service is 90% greater than everything that we build and put together. Are you kidding me? It's a, it's a bold-faced lie. To come out and say we can build and grow an economy 4 or 5%. It's just a bold-faced lie. You just can't do it. It's impossible. I, I just never seen so much lying. But look, you don't have to worry about oil. You don't have to worry about these guys. You don't have to worry about any of it. Just, just join my gang and I do it for you. It's that simple. And should the government be investing? Or should they not be investing? We'll talk about that as well in some stocks when we get back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grady, philsgang.com. We have a 16% return since the first of the year on my video stock group. Those are stocks that I select. I put out a video three times a day. You just follow my instructions on those particular stocks. This is for people who just don't have time to learn. Join my gang, philsgang.com, and use the video stock group. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call. That's 877-600-4264. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang Max Best 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Every single one of his medical bills, everything is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. If you're behind, and you know you're behind in your savings, you know you're behind from retirement, you haven't got enough retirement money, you're getting worried, and nobody helped you today. Did anybody help you today? Were you able to go to your mobile device today and say, what should I do with my stock? Did anybody do a video for you today? Did your planner, did your money manager, did the guy that's running your 401k, did he do a video for you today three times during the day to tell you exactly what to do with the stocks we're in? No. Now, when you join the gang, you can decide what you want to 
participate in. You can have the full schooling where you come to our class on a daily basis. That's done over the Internet, of course. Or if your person says, I just want you to make money for me because I don't have time to learn, and I have a program for that. And that's called my video stock program. So when the market goes up, you're going to make money. When the market goes down, you're going to make money. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. What are people saying? I've been extremely happy with everything that they've done. You have all the tools necessary to become a successful trader. Phil's Gang is like having a pro by your side all day long. I would highly recommend Phil's Gang to the average retail investor. It is truly a great value for what it offers. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. What are people saying? Back about two. 2005, I found myself out of work. One of the things I was doing was KCA was playing Phil's Gang at noon, and he was predicting in 2005 a collapse of the, the housing market. Phil's Gang feller, he was on it, and nobody else was predicting what he predicted, but he was he was on the money. He was talking in 2005. He was talking about how people had the teaser rates with their mortgages and that the whole thing was going to collapse. And he knew what time it was. you got to respect that. No matter if the market is up or the market is down, Phil Grant Randy and his Phil's gang members prepared for market volatility and making profits. Well, that puts me at $13,087 in two days. I'm up like 15%. I'm up $5,000 in a month and a half. I'm up about 15% for this year. I'm up $28,000 since November. Join thousands of investors and start making profits in the stock market. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. You're not a regular listener to Phil's Gang? What, are you nuts? Listen to Phil Grandy and check out philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. We're pleased that this was one step in a journey, and it was a foundational step, really anchored on reinforcing the heritage of the company around this concept of the third place, a place that's not your home and not your work, but a place that creates a warm, welcoming uh, environment and a sense of belonging for all. That is Howard Schultz, the executive CEO of Starbucks. He sounds like he's talking about a library or church. Is this guy nuts? He better start thinking about Starbucks stock, which is down 13% since March. Instead of opening up the bathrooms, not to homeless, but to bums and hobos. We'll talk more about that in a minute and how it affects your Starbucks stock. But first, let's get back to the big lie. The economy's doing terrific. And we're going to grow 4 to 5%. How the hell can you grow 4 to 5%? Our economy grow like that, 4 to 5%, even 3%. I want you to think about this. When our country's debt exceeds the total dollar value of all the goods we produce, make, manufacture, and services. Let me say that again. How can we grow our economy at 3%? Four percent when our country's debt, are you kidding me, exceeds the total dollar value of all the stuff we make and produce. It's impossible. You can't. They lie. It's like when the Republicans lie, when they say the government spends money, which oh, is presumably bad for the economy, while Democrat, Democrats especially socialists, tend to say the government invests money, which is supposed to be good for the economy. Both are lying. We'll also talk about that in a minute. But first, let's make some money on some stocks. We have made, and since January, on 13 stocks, a return of 16%. Now, I'm not suggesting every gain member made 16%. But if they got into the stock that I selected for the video stock group, 
and said, here's where we're going to start buying it. Here's where we're going to get out. If they got in at that same moment, then they'd be up 16%. But some don't. Some hold off. Some get scared. Some get in later. Some get way later. They wait and watch and watch and watch. They're scared. Then finally they pull the trigger just as the stock is going to start going down. If you just follow me and don't go off the reservation, if you just do what I tell you, like any self-help video, when you build a fence, don't you follow it? Exactly what they tell you? When you put a vacuum cleaner together and you have a little video, don't you do it exactly how they tell you? Or do you go off the reservation? Of course not. It's only in stocks. When I tell someone, here's where we're going to buy the stock, here's what we're going to do, they do something different because they hear Kramer or they hear Varney or they hear Maria Barta, Barta Roma or some other dope. Do what I tell you to do. It works. It works. Now, we have a problem in this country and we better learn what it is. Debt, just like our homes. People have so much debt, they're strangling with debt. You can't grow your home, can you? You can't grow. When you look at your debt at home, does your lifestyle increase? Can you grow it better? No, because you have too much debt. The government is no different. And the stock market started to crash, which is a good thing. Don't get fearful when I say that. I'm the only one that's talking about it. The, go the stock market is in the crash. It's in a crash. It started January 26th. But it takes time. It just doesn't drop because you have the plunger team. We have been going sideways. This market's been going sideways in a 4% in a range since March because the plunger team won't let it drop. The plunger team, a.k.a. working group, the President's Working Group that was created in 1997 consists of Secretary of Treasury, the chair of the private banking cartel called the Federal Reserve. It also considers the, the, the chair of the SEC, the chair of the CFTC, the Commodities Future Trading Commission. They all get together in the morning with the President and decide how they are going to engineer the market for the day. They have not wanted the stock market to break through what we call a 200-day moving average since March. Since March, March 23rd, they decide, let's ho hold it at that 200 days. So they go out and they print money, they give it to five banks, and they go out and buy bank stocks to push that back up and hold it there. We are going into June. They're still doing it. Then we finally had this little rally 15 days ago, all fake. And we went sideways for 15 days at a 1.5% range. 1.5% range. The market has stopped going up. January was the last day the stock market has stopped going up. Yes, we can make money with individual stocks. I proved it to you with a 16% return. But you people in 401Ks, you are going to get nailed. So the market dropped yesterday on Italy, of all things. How stupid. Today, it's right back up in that 1.5% range again. It's being manipulated. That's okay. Because that's telling me the crash is continuing. I will always make sure for my gang members, especially the video group, you will be in position when this market cracks one more time, starts to drop. We're going to have about three different cracks in this market. We're going to drop, we already dropped 12%. They're going to drop another 15%. Then probably, and then finally we'll hit another 30%, one big shot. Then the last will be about 10%, and that'll be the end of it. It'll be in stages. But all the way down, we'll be making money. In the meantime, let's take advantage of what's going on. We have some great stocks I'm going to put on my video. That we're going to, I'm going to start putting on my video tonight. 
stocks that yesterday when the market went down never dropped. We're talking about CLAC, K-L-A-C. The market dropped 500 points and the stock never went down. KMB, the market went down 500 points. The stock never dropped, KMB. Coke, the market dropped. The stock went up, not down. We just bought Clorox. When, yesterday, when the market was going down 500 points, I said to my gang, let's buy Clorox. So Clorox is up big now. Now, now. And Clorox is still going up. That's on my video. So I tell my gang when to add to it, when not to add to it, when to get out, when to run like hell. So join my gang. Check out my performance for 30 days. At the end of 30 days, my performance is not there. Boot me. Get rid of me. It's an alternative. 877-600-GANG. Call now. They're waiting for your call. Follow my video stock. Now, if you have time, then under my umbrella, come in and do everything. You can be in my class during the day from 930 to 11. It's live. You can, you know, in, in the classroom, you can ask us what's going on with your stock. We'll tell you in front of everybody else. Here's what you got to do. We got updates. We got counsel. We got everything. Nobody offers what we do if you want to be very active. But if you don't want to be active, you just want to make money, don't want to be involved, just want to make money. And I proved since January we had a 16% return to join my gang. 877-600-GANG, they're waiting for your call now. We get back, we're going to talk about the economy and a lot more in some stocks. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, Phil's Gang. You hear me talk about my video group. These are folks who don't have any time to learn. I do the actual investing for them. I do a video three times a day. All I do is follow what I do. As a result, if you were a gang member from January, we now have a 16% return for my video group. Join my gang, philsgang.com. If you're busy, it's a perfect solution. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call. That's 877-600-4264. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. PhilzGang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. PhilzGang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Phil's Gang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, or go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, 877-600-4264. Did you know Phil Grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class? Never miss a beat with the market and your investments. Learn, invest, and profit with philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. You know, there's nothing worse than you're investing in a stock, and during the day something happens, and you don't know what to do. You don't know who to call. Or you call somebody, and they just give you a bunch of BS. Not here at Phil's Gang. We value every gang member. During the day, you got a question about your stock, you contact us. We have the best service in the world, philsgang.com. You're not alone. You're a gang member. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call. That's 877-600-4264.
Thousands of investors trust PhilzGang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Radio Show. Want to know more about Phil's Gang? Go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Okay. They keep telling us this economy is going to grow 3 to 4%, which is a total lie. It can't. It's impossible. Anybody will tell you that. When the country debt exceeds the dollar value of all the goods and services we produce. You don't have to be a dope not to understand that. So they lie to us. They always lie to us about everything. You can't have a 3 to 4% growth in our economy when they tell us the unemployment rate when Obama got off was 10%, now it's dropped to 3.9%, but wages have not increased. How the hell can you have an unemployment rate drop from 10% to 3.9% and wages aren't increasing? That's impossible. You've got to be an idiot to believe that. You can't grow to 3%, 4%, 5% when we're spending $100 billion more than we're taking in every month. When the U.S. debt is growing 35% faster than our economy. You can't have the two-year Treasury at 2.5% catching up to the 10-year Treasury at 2.9%. The closer they get together, that spells recession. So how can you grow 3 4 5%? When the 10-year and 2-year are almost the same, meaning recession, and it's been right seven times in a row, you can't have an economy growing 3 or 4 or 5 percent when you've got trade deficits expanding, the dollar escalating. You can't have a 3 or 4 percent growth when, you, when the average household where both parents are working for combined income of fifty-eight to $64,000 and when they pay their food, transportation, health care, uh, their insurance, uh, uh, clothing, they have nothing left. They have to use five credit cards. How do you grow? You don't. It's a lie. So the only thing they're trying to grow is the stock market. But you're not going to make money in the stock market if you're in a 401k. You're going to make money if you're buying individual stocks and let me guide you. That's thirty nine ninety five a month. That's how it works. It's easy. They're waiting for your call. All I'm asking you to do is to reach out to St. Jude, please. All right, I want to go on with this dope at Starbucks. The executive chairman, Howard Schultz. He's got it all wrong. If we go by him next, if he was the CEO of Tiffany's and Ralph Lauren, what's he going to do, open the bathrooms? Do bums and hobos? Let me make the difference between bums, hobos, and, uh, and, and people who are homeless. Homeless family is a family, is a person who had a job at GE. He got laid off. He went through his savings, and now he needs help. 
That's a homeless person. We do everything to help them. The majority of the people that you see on the street, most of them need help. Most of them are nuts. They let them out of all the institutions. The governors did that uh, after Geraldo did his big thing back in, I think, in the 60s or 70s. They need help. Got to put them back in institutions. The others are just bums, hobos. Who are they? People who love the lifestyle. And are you kidding? Seven dollars, when you're paying seven dollars for a coffee, what Schultz doesn't understand, you're buying not the coffee, but the experience. When you go into Tiffany's and you buy, and you buy a ring or a watch, you go to Tiffany's because you're buying the experience, you're buying the atmosphere. Same thing with Starbucks. But when you go into a Starbucks that's one block away from the Salvation Army, and in the morning at 5 o'clock, when they kick everybody out who paid 12 bucks to stay for the night, they go right down to the Starbucks store. The manager has every right in running a business if they don't buy anything. They just sit there and they use the bathroom, clog up the toilets, and then at 7 o'clock, when the people start coming in who wants to spend seven bucks for a coffee, you think they're going to stand in line to find out the toilet's overflowing? Toilet paper all over the floor? Are they going to pay seven dollars when I've seen this myself? When a bum is sitting in one of the chairs because he can't get into the toilet, there's a line. He uses a bottle of water, he takes off his shoes, sneakers, he takes off his socks, and he starts cutting his fink toenails and washing himself? Is that the experience for seven bucks? What are you, nuts? Yeah, baby. <laughs> the each manager, and even, even Schultz admitted it was the decision of the manager if a person could stay in the store or not. This is not about two black men. He's made it about two black men because he is a liberal Democrat, Schultz. And he wants the backing of the Democrats to run for president. That's what's going on. The people that I saw in the Starbucks a block away from, from, uh, from uh, the Salvation Army, few were even black. They were white. This is not white and black. You didn't have to shut down Starbucks for a day to talk to your employees about how do you treat minorities? What are you, nuts? They lost, what, $10, 20000000 million yesterday. The stock has been going sideways. The stock has been going sideways since, since March. Since March, it's not growing. There's no growth. It's going sideways. It's been in a range since March, a 7% range. And now it's dropped down to a 4% range. It just keeps going sideways. No more growth. Well, you're certainly not going to grow with, with your new policy of... Of just letting anybody come in to your rush into your Starbucks and let them all use the toilet, free toilet. Are you kidding me? They even kick you out of the library. Not Starbucks. These people have lost it. These people have lost it. It's unbelievable. They go into the bathroom. They come out of the bathroom and they sit in a chair. They take a raggedy old blanket, cover themselves, and they sleep. And then it's seven in the morning when the customers come in who want an experience, who want doesn't mind spending seven dollars for the environment. They got to sit there and watch a guy picking his toenails, and clipping them, and washing his feet with a bottle of water. What are you nuts? This is where we're going today. Are you kidding? Here you have a manager at each Starbucks. Each Starbucks is its own profit center. Each manager shares in the profit. Look at, they gave this manager hell. He didn't stand behind his manager. When the manager said that the two, that it were two people, they weren't black, okay, they were black, but she would have said the same thing to white people when they weren't using the, when they weren't buying and they're using the restroom. She would have told two white people, did he ever ask, hey, did you ever throw white people out of here? When they sat here all day and they never used, they never bought anything and they're clogging up the toilets? The answer was yes. I throw out more white people than I do black people. How about yellow people? How about pink people? This is about yellow, pink, or white. This is about a liberal who wants to be president. This is insane. So the stock, what do you do with the stock? Nothing. 
The only time you buy the stock, if it breaks its key support or you sell it short, when it breaks its key support at 56.64, you put a sell short order in. If it breaks back above 58.56, you can put a buy order in. But the best place to buy it is at 59.32. Buy order 59.32 on Starbucks, sell short if it drops below 56.64. In the meantime, the stock market has been going, the, the, this stock has just been going sideways from a 7% range. Now it's dropped down to a 4% range. I think he should worry about his stock and his company, not about being president. That's just unbelievable. Look, there's still opportunities in this market. Why? This market has stopped. This market has stopped on January 26th. It's not going up anymore. The, over. It's over. The 257% rally we had is over. It's done. The stock buybacks, which pushed the stock market up 257%, are going to be less and less these stock buybacks because as interest rates go up, the corporations are up to their neck in $8 trillion in debt. Against that debt, they only have $800 billion in cash. It's over. It's over. This market has one way to go, down. The only way it will go up if the president comes in and does a QE. And QE is a fraud. That's how we got up 256% to begin with, with QE, printing money, printing money. And that's why last year, the dollar in your wallet is 15% less than it was a year ago, 20% less than a year ago. When you go to the store, you need more pieces of paper. What are you, nuts? Join my gang right now, 877-600-GANG. Follow my video stocks, perfect if you're a busy person. Judge me on my performance. Help St. Jude. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to Phil'sGang.com. What are people saying? Back about 2005, I found myself out of work. One of the things I was doing was 